Good day to you. This is the weather broadcast from the May studio at Jimmy for today, August 19th, 2025. We start off today with a look at the tropics and we find Hurricane Erin to the east of the Bahamas. But of concern to us in the Caribbean are these two tropical waves, one in the central tropical Atlantic near about 42 degrees west and the other in the far eastern tropical Atlantic. The one in the far eastern tropical Atlantic has a 30% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone over the next seven days, and the one nearest to us, near 42 degrees west, has a 60% chance of development over the next seven days and a 10% chance of development over the next two days. We find that Dominica and the rest of the northern part of the Lesser Antilles are in this area of concern if this tropical wave does continue to develop on its approach to the Lesser Antilles. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates as we get them. We now move on to our satellite imagery and we find this elongated mass of moisture associated with the tropical wave near 42 degrees west and this area is slightly more compact convection associated with the one near in the far eastern Atlantic. As we come a little closer to home, we do find the axis of another tropical wave and this one is affecting the island and the rest of the Lesser Antilles today. We do observe that this tropical wave has less moisture, less enhanced clouds associated with it as it's continuing to affect the area. And as we zoom a little closer to home, we see that this tropical wave has resulted in mostly cloudy skies, particularly in the central and eastern parts of the island during the morning so far, with more periods of sunshine occurring uh, in western communities. And as we move on to radar imagery, it indicated some scattered showers across the area, some light to moderate showers occurring at times. No haze has been observed across the island throughout the day so far. However, we do anticipate an increase in concentration later tonight into tomorrow and possibly lingering into Thursday. So tonight's weather is expected to be sort of similar to today, mostly cloudy, um, slightly hazy with some scattered showers. Expect a slight increase in winds with winds gusting, particularly in elevated areas. Temperatures are expected to be down to about 25 to 26 degrees Celsius in coastal communities and about 22 degrees Celsius in the interior. So over the next three days, tomorrow Wednesday, slightly drier conditions are anticipated, occasionally cloudy and hazy conditions with isolated showers. Similar conditions are expected into Thursday. However, by Thursday night, the tropical wave near 42 degrees west is expected to begin affecting the area resulting in an increase in moisture. So conditions on Friday are expected to be mostly cloudy, possibly overcast at times, with scattered showers and possible thunderstorm activity. Those of you in areas prone to flooding, lances and falling rocks, be advised for these changing conditions overnight Thursday into Friday. The next few days are expected to remain relatively warm, with daytime temperatures picking up to 34 degrees Celsius into Thursday, however slightly cooler on Friday, down to about 30 degrees Celsius. Nighttime temperatures are expected to be warm as well, 25 to 24 degrees Celsius and down to about 23 degrees Celsius on Friday. Winds are expected to be out of the northeast, uh, with winds weakening as we go into Thursday to about 25 kilometers and a slight change in direction, a more southerly component expected following that tropical wave on Friday out of the south near 20 kilometers per hour. Seas are expected to remain slight to moderate into Friday with waves peaking on the east coast to about five feet. The sun will rise tomorrow at 5.51 a.m. and will set at 6.26 p.m. The first high tide tomorrow will be at 1.40 a.m. and the first low tide at 9.02 a.m. Remember that we are in the hurricane season, we are in the peak of the season. Uh, do continue to stay informed and to be prepared. For updated information, you can go ahead and scan this QR code to gain access to our WhatsApp channel or visit our Facebook and Instagram platforms. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time.